So he was wondering what like the problem was because the problem is I'm tired of this motherfucker coming down our street. And go to another neighborhood. We don't want this shit around our neighborhood. Dice que el problema es de que no quiere que pase por acá, que no quiere, ellos no quieren eso. De this ser. ain't fucking Tijuana. This is an upstanding neighborhood. We don't need this shit. Que no, Find another neighborhood. Que no ocupan esa mierda aquí y que buscas otro vecindario para hacer eso porque aquí no es Tijuana. Okay, well, he didn't want any problems. I don't problem. care. Understand what I'm saying. These people are fucking tired. This shit happening. It's only been happening for a couple of months now. Find somewhere else to go. Okay? Not this goddamn street. This shit. I told them to fucking keep, get the fuck out of here. Quit coming down here. Nobody ever stops them. Nobody gets shit. I'm, tear, I'm tired of hearing this honky honk 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 shit. Alright, I've been living here for 30 fucking years. This shit's gonna stop now. Find another route. Find another route. Get the fuck away from my property. And he claims to be for the free market and the fighter for this free country because he's a conservative. But yet he's stopping a young entrepreneur with all his permits, by the way. Is everyone thinking what I'm thinking? What should we do? If you're out of state and want to help out the vendor, he had to leave and lose a day's work because of this man. This is his sister-in-law's Venmo. It goes directly to him. Man, he always running talking that guy.